Affinity Designer version 2 now has a measure tool. You can use it to measure dimensions of shapes, distances between shapes, dimensions of the document, and much, much more. You don't have to apply it to a shape itself. They don't have to be selected. You just drag across. Unfortunately, you can only have one. One of these dimension lines. Here it is, measure tool. So select that, measure tool. And now what you can do, just go to that shape. And again, it doesn't have to be selected. So just drag across and it will say, that's the distance, obviously from there to there. You can also go down here, up there. You can also, if you want, simply hover over there and you can move it. So you can just drag it so it's over there or maybe drag it there and push it there or maybe drag it between there. So you can see the distance between those two shapes or maybe drag it up there and you can see it says curve as you drag it around. It'd be nice if it gave some measurements there. So the settings, obviously for the X and Y, X and Y there as well, as well as angle. That would be a really good feature. It doesn't do that. One thing you can do is you can go up here. You've got one to one. This is along the control bar and you can set it with preset. So maybe go for one 500 and you can see straight away what happens. It will set the size to 62,000, whatever, three, quite a lot larger. Of course, if you're using maybe for a room or a building or something, you want a larger scale than one to one. So it's really nice they've given this option. I don't know if there's a limit. Let's put five, one to 5,000. Yeah, so it's even greater. If you go over here and you select one of these shapes, you'll notice if you've got the transform panel available, you'll see the settings, the width, it's really large, height is really large. Likewise, the X position suddenly becomes very large as well. It's reflected in that drawing scale. So any change you make there with the drawing scale, suddenly it will also be changed here in the transform as well. So be aware of that. So you can add, let's just put it back to one to one. You can type in as well. Let's just put that there. And you can go the other way. So you can go 500 to one. So you can go microscopic as well, which is useful. Let's just put it back to one to one. So one to one. And now draw a line. So if you draw a line like that, say something like that, 638, you can also assign a drawing scale. So if you know that distance should be in reality, 6 million or something, you can turn around and say, click there. And you can say that 638, I want to translate to, I don't know, I'm just put in, type in something, 1 million or 2 million or something, click apply. And then you will get a scale that it actually indicates. You can see the scale there. So it's worked it out. And it will say now, instead of that, it will say, whatever, it's 100 million or something. So every time now you use distance, you will see the value that it sets is a lot larger. And of course, you can always set it back again. If you want, just go up here and set it back to one to one. And that's the new measure tool in Affinity Designer. Unfortunately, it is not available, as far as I can see, in Affinity Photo. It'd be really nice. Don't know why it isn't in there. Also why they haven't made, so you can have multiple lines and also keep them permanent. And also change the color as well. I don't know why it's just black. Though it does go red if you go over shape. But then again, what happens if the shape is red? So it would be nice if you could change the color of it as well as the thickness. Maybe you have dots or something, other sort of strokes as well. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions about the measure tool, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.